All right, guys, I, I call myself doing a video on looking up people on Facebook, but I look, well, I just went to look at it. I'm not sure if it's happening on the other end also, but it just seemed like there was no sound coming, no audio. So I'm just going to do this over real quick. When you were looking up someone that you found the uh, address to, you're just going to, one of the things you can do is go over to Facebook and uh, this is a property that I did show you a little bit earlier, and I know the person's name already. So one of the things you do is you want to just come over and let's start from the beginning again. Uh, let's see here. Start from the beginning. Um, property search. Just I want you to see how it goes from, from step one to step completion. <laughs> so we found a, I found a property earlier. And I'm going to put in the address. Well, that wasn't the address. That was the mailing address. The address was 965. This was the address. So we're going to pull this up. And here's the owner, Hazel Sellers. So what I'm going to do is come over here and you can just Google, all right, see what type of information you get on this owner. And the town that the house was in. And basically you can do some research and find out what's going on with that person. All right. Pretty much will give you some Hmm. She actually has a business too. So if you ha happen to see something like this, you can go to your Secretary of State website by just going over to Google again and put in Secretary of State and the state that you're in. Ah, uh, Secretary of State, uh, Secretary of State. Um, website Florida and ours is called uh, Sunbiz so just gonna put it in and it said that and one of the things on Google that uh, said her name as an LLC so this is why you want to have a system so you can put different research information that you find in there because it's easy to forget it's easy to lose it on a piece of paper so let me just see is he uh, uh, sellers so yeah this is the name that i saw she made her name a company and i recommend that everybody does that as well if you're going to be a consultant so that's that mailing address uh, so I can find a lot of information out about her. But then I can also look up look her up by that company also to see if she has any property in that LLC name. So we do the property search again, but this time we'll leave it on the owner name. I'm not going to switch to the site address. So, see if anything happens here. And here's a different property. So, just by knowing what to do and doing a little bit more due diligence, I found out, and this is not even the other mailing address. So, she's an investor. Yeah. Most people are. And uh, yeah, she bought the house for 150000 Okay. And then again, we can come over to LinkedIn as well to find people. Great source business people are there. Uh, set up your LinkedIn account. I'm not going to set it up, but. Uh, you can definitely go there or just Google them to see if they're on LinkedIn, right?
What was it? HIZ. Most business people, most professional people are on there. So if I wanted to reach out to her, communicate with her for free, you know, I sign up and then ask, accept her as a uh, member and says school board member at PSC, PCSB. So that's how I do that, guys. Real quick, real short, real sweet. Just to give you everything that you need so you can get to the closing table. All right. Talk to you soon. Bye.